Today, we have big Roblox news and drama. Players mad and disappointed at a popular game, a new Roblox change, an insane leak, and much, much more. Please subscribe, I've been trying to hit 300,000 for so long now. We're so close, I'm desperate at this point, just click the b Our first story is pretty crazy. Popular YouTuber It's Maddie said, Recently, Tex and I invested into this project on Roblox. The game was already released and fully functional, and just needed an investor and a new UI. Then, unfortunately, today the game has been 100% fully stolen. They went so far as to even copy the new UI Tex made. And this is a stolen game, and this is a real game that was made way before. What's also sad is the stolen game has way more players than the real one. Even stuff like the thumbnail and UI was clearly inspired or stolen. Very unfortunate. And if you look at both games back to back, it's literally the same thing. I think they're trying to get the game shut down, so hopefully everything gets fixed. But knowing Roblox support, that's just not going to happen. Next up is a quick story, but Roblox went down once again. But this time it's a bit different. The mobile app and website was completely down and you couldn't access it. But funny enough, Roblox went down the exact day that the infinite sea phase came back to the platform. If you don't know, the sea phase was uploaded by hackers who took over the entire website in 2012, and someone just recently re-uploaded it as a UGC item. Crazy coincidence. Some people were actually worried it got hacked, but that's just not the case. Another small but kind of big story is that Roblox has a new loading screen. It looks pretty clean to be honest. Some people hate and are angry over this, which makes no sense. But that's a Roblox community, what do you expect? This is just a test by the way, so we don't know when it will be released. Overall pretty cool update. Next up we have another insane story. Most of us know that the Dominus collection has some of the most rare and expensive items on the platform. And there hasn't been a new Dominus in ages. But that might all change. Dominus Knight. The name is based off a texture name, not real. But the Dominus itself is very real. And might come soon very soon to Roblox. And from the front it looks like the standard gold one, but from the back it has a silver texture. The story gets even weirder though. They also reveal there's an 8-bit version of this. Which is very weird because we've never seen anything like this before. Could potentially be coming soon, who knows. But this isn't the first time we've seen a Dominus leaked. Four months ago now, there's actually four more that were leaked. Two dark ones, a shiny silver one, and a rainbow one. And also a retextured gold one. But like I said, this was months ago now, and there's still no sign of them. So Roblox has actually been pretty active. This is like our fifth Dominus leak this year. But they haven't released any, which is pretty interesting and weird. And finally, let's get into our last story. Adami has been under a lot of fire. Recently, they had this whole black hole live event. And the community was super excited. A lot of people who don't even play Adami was excited. People thought it was going to be like the Fortnite black hole event or something insane. A lot of players were even expecting a whole new map. And well, after all this hype, it was just a regular update. The added drops of the game, no major map change or anything else insane. And players were so mad and disappointed over this. Even people like Kreekaffin made it, it was a bit of a letdown. That is a little, was that, was it like, was that it? Like that was the live event? Binzi said, I didn't even play it on me and I'm disappointed. The black hole could have so much more meaning and could have been a cool transition to a brand new map or something. But no, it was just to introduce jobs. Another player here said, so much potential, not used there. A little disappointed if I'm being honest. I don't want to be negative but I was hoping for more. With these updates already being in the test lab, I don't feel like we got anything new. Am I missing anything? Was it just the new buildings? So yeah, the community is not happy about this. I don't mean it was even trending because of the event. Overall though, it's not like the update was bad. It seems like pretty good for players. But people think there's no need to hype it up this much and have a whole live event for it. But yeah, comment down below your thoughts on all this. And if you played the Adomi live event, let me know what you thought of it. Check some other videos on the screen and I'll click to watch and see the next one.